Um, I started up the game, and this happened. I can't click anything. I haven't even turned on my camera. Um, I'm really disturbed right now. Yep. I was going to start the video by reading a new document that popped up, but that... How often does that happen? Anyway, there's this document that popped up. Uh, I'm going to put it up on screen. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Okay. So that's um, another note from Monica, without a doubt. But I am very... Uh, that popped up um, uh, during the last uh, thing that, that caught my attention. Oh, man. But that opening before, like, really threw me off. I thought I was just gonna start off the game, start recording. But okay. Let's... Let's get back into it. Now, I don't think this matters. I don't think this matters at all. But I'm still gonna keep doing, uh, um, Sigori stuff. But childhood. Okay. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. Okay, now I'm gonna just stick through. I'm pretty sure I'm close to the ending of the game now. I have to be. Oh man, that opener still got me though. Like I really thought like something was up. I was like, I didn't even have my camera on. Like I started the game and I was like, shit, and I had to hit record just to show you guys that. All right, another day passed and it's time for the club meeting already. I've got a little more uh, comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back to Cody, man. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel uh, still hangs in the air. Okay, now the game is definitely fucking up the timeline. Because you can't say that that was yesterday's quarrel, but also say it's been a couple of days. Do you see what I'm saying? I noticed this the first um, time before Sayori died that they kind of did that with the timeline, but I just let it pass. I was like, maybe it makes sense. But now this 100% proves that this timeline is just fucked. That my character is saying I've gotten more comfortable with a couple of days, but also saying this quarrel happened just yesterday from the last scene. What is that about? I don't know if that's purposeful or just a mistake on the uh, creator's part, or they might bring it up in like the next couple of scenes and be like, yeah, time doesn't exist or whatever. Uh, let in the air. Uh, um. Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at the desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes me by the arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened. Something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you, uh, were considerate and apologized. Okay, uh, you don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. You even say it in the same sentence, right? On my first day is when I got introduced. The second day was yesterday, and today is my third day. This this has to be on purpose. This is to do it all in one sentence cannot be a mistake. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it is, uh, didn't make I didn't think any. It didn't make me think any less of you. Wait, is is the like is the game counting real days of how long I've been playing? I had already decided there's no way you can be a bad person, and now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, the Cody man. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. 
I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. <laughs> Everything is just a little brighter with you around, and, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just, hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Oh, I thought I said something. Marianne. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't seen uh, haven't seen her either. That Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calm the Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, jeez. Whatever, whatever is on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but. I'm not sure I don't even remember anything happening. Okay. But, yeah, so that was, yeah. So they actually put it in this time. Usually they don't put the black um, stuff in. Black text. Not black stuff. So. But, I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I don't hate you. Uh ha ha. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Uh, Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, super late. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys won't worry or anything. Nah, well, Natsuki was. I was not. Ah ha ha ha. What took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah ha ha. What I said, like, ah ha ha. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well. I don't know the credit I deserve. I guess I've been practicing a while, but I'm still really good. Not that good at it yet. S still. That must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah ha ha, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but that's not quite done yet. Maybe once you get a little better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, the good man. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh -huh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. She, just you. Stupid. Okay, so all this is about just about the same as last time. So um, I'm still I can't skip it. So I'm just taking my time anyway. Thanks. Not really choose to bring up anything three of us talked about besides Nazi has already turned off to the closet. The code man. Um. Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Till we start now, let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm beginning to get a little forceful, aren't I? Get a little forceful. Sorry. <clears throat> so I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but. I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. I mean, take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of a book from under a bag. Actually, I have a actually I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing to do to make them blah blah, not to mention yourself as well. Your stands up, makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher. The kind of blah blah. You can can you hold this for a second? Sure. Your hands me the water pitcher and also fetches the electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to plug this in the teacher's desk. Now we get some water. She walks past me and sets the cup down the desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it was long legs. 
Okay, may I have a water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. So this time she doesn't want me to walk with her because we did last time. That's okay. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Picture in hand, you're hers out of the classroom. Ah, did you leave you again? Yes. No, it's not like that this time. She just filled up the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Jesus. You said it wouldn't take long. It's something holding her up. She's cutting herself. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. She's cutting herself. Why is the music coming from inside the classroom? Game? I s what? That's that's a very interesting way to, to go about it. That that music is just in the classroom only. And I can hear it in the hallway like through a... Interesting. I think I'm going to save. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The most logical place for you to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. Ah! 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale, someone sucking air through the teeth. Uh, uh, Yuri? Shit. I'm sorry, what? I'm back! Thanks for waiting patiently. That's what I do, baby. All day, every day. I just, just, I just sit here and I'll wait for you. What the fuck? Dakota Man, do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. Anything is fine, because I'm just stupid. I'm a window for the player to look through. I'm not really a person. The Cody Man isn't here. This, I'm just a vessel, honestly. So you could, like, do everything. Very well. You're assessing temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any, I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Ooh. In that case, you'll be only even you be you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. You fetches the teapot and begins measuring tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you notice I was a little bit of thinking. I decided that I would try to express myself a little bit more. Turns out that it's not very hard for me to do when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worried about me, Dakota man. It's very endearing. That, that's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I want you to pour a cup of tea for me. She hasn't done anything. Or from my character's dumbass point of view, she hasn't done anything like crazy. I want you to pour a cup of tea for both of us. Uh, Dakota man, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, is that why? It's a little easy on my back. Cause I have huge tits. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have painful reinserting the manager because of huge tits. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's because I have huge tits. Ah, my oh, posture, right? No, my huge tits. Yes, I mean, yes, I have terrible reading posture because of my huge tits. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go get uh, the book, retrieve the book from my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's bag of chocolate. I, I like this guy. You know what? The Cody Man is an upstanding dude. I, you know what? I, I just changed something about him. Something about him just made me change my mind. Could it be the chocolate? Possibly. You're not sitting against the wall and the tea up to the side, so when we sink the reading person last time, except this time, I buy even close to the other. I can't see too well. Your slides closer to the shoulders touching. I'm spreading close like this. Your is kind of cute, but when she's 
being less apprehensive is almost more when she's being less apprehensive it's almost more than I can handle your teacup your hands meet my cup tradition holding the book up and possibly the hard focus because now we're just about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest her huge boobs Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She was an intense reader, presumably in a faded way. We'll power folks on reading. Dot, dot, dot. After a few minutes, I managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs on the Chuck Rapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the Rapper. And as much as he wants, that's it. She's going to say, I don't want to get it on the paper. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, it might smudge the paper. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Of course, you didn't. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Okay, now we're back to this scene where I'm about to, like, stick that chocolate in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Yuri opens the book with both hands. I was uh, from reading it, but as a result, I found practically what's on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already first on reading. Take the chocolate, put it into my mouth, then another chocolate, and put it in the book. I mean, she sucked on my finger, so she's used to people putting. Anyway, what? Abraham's gonna take chocolate, just like that, and then lips over it. Mmm. Expressive changes. Did, did I just. Your looks at me seems uh, to confirm what just happened. Um, the Dakota man. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Why did the music stop? The music didn't stop last time. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I. I can't. The Cody man, Yuri suddenly forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. The Cody man, my heart won't stop pounding. The Cody man, I'm just, you know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna be way, I'm just gonna be way back here. That's, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I want to stop beating. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Oh, uh, you can feel it, the Cody man. You're just suddenly pressing my hand against her chest. Her gets her huge boobs. You know what? I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. I get up. I get all, all up on this shit. Which, what, what you got? Show me what you got. Oh, okay, I'm a little scared. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me want to. It makes me. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Ah. 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 Nope. This is a good time to save. And that's her heartbeat. The heartbeat is slow and heavy. Is it speeding up? No, it's the same. This is weird. <sighs> um, it's time to share poems. Fuck this game. Okay. Let's start with Natsuki, right? Natsuki so far has been cool as shit, right? She's just been chilling. Everything, she's the same old chick. So let's start with her. Natsuki. Hey, babe. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's not really worse than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Ooh. What's who for? Oh. Uh, Oh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take it as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. 
heard. What makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment. It, it was. Uh, glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well, then keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's uh, something tells me not to completely miss the point. Just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. But, you know, Monica and I are just as good as her at poems, I mean. So you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. Make sure you learn something from it. Yeah, Amy likes spiders. Okay, yes, yeah, same thing. Amy likes spiders. Number, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. Is this warming up? I can't skip this though. I'm I'm really paying attention to that. To times when I can and can't skip, even if it is the same dialogue. I hope you don't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree, the subject of the poem is angry jerk. How we guilty pleasure or something and blah, blah, blah. yeah, that yeah, people are stupid, but who cares so as long as they're not hurting anyone? I think the people want to respect like and rare things. Uh search to very quite respectively. Uh can't even have people respect me. Jeez, no, I'm making the complaint too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. It's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more. Okay, she didn't say that last time. Whatever. We're done sharing. You can leave now. Okay. Um. I guess we'll do Yuri's Yuri next. Even though she's kind of creeping me the fuck out. But who's the lesser of two evils here? The crazy one or the fourth wall breaking one that kind of scares me? But the one that kind of scares me is green, has green eyes and kind of red hair. So, I guess I can overlook a few things. Um, now we're going to go top to bottom. So, Yuri, you can be next. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for the day. Bet you have. Yuri says that the poem with a surprise expression on the face. Do you like it? Dakota Man, this one might be better than one yesterday. How did you even pick up on it so quickly? Uh, just yesterday, I was telling you to come take some practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job of explaining. I really want to give it uh, more imagery. You know, you're invisibly swallows. Even her uh, hands appear sweaty. Knees weak, arms heavy, mouth spaghetti. Oh, uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing that I feel valued, Dakota Man. Everything uh, that you write is a treasure to me. My heart's pounding just holding it. Uh, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Cody Man? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a hard time than usual concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. Right now, I just want you to read my poem too, okay? Yeah. Wheel. Rotating wheel, turning, and axle grinding. Uh, bolt head, leaning gearbox, falling sky. Seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a harness, parabolic gearbox. What the fuck is she writing about? A kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of a God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears, and a ticking clock clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet I can't like a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions breathing gearbox breathing bolt head breathing ship breathing portal breathing that okay so it's all so all of this mechanical stuff she's talking about, well not just mechanical, but existence of a god, slipping cogwheels, different gearboxes, different dimensions, it's all alive, basically, is what she's saying. Wait, is she breaking through also? Is that what this means? A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks a second time. 
I don't know what that one means. So it's like click, click 40, click, click 40, right? But what does that mean though? But then at the end she says it's all breathing. So to mean it's all of this stuff comes to life or is alive? I think she might be breaking through also like Monica, which means that you're is probably gonna die next. Where's the music? You did think I didn't notice that the music wasn't playing that whole time I was reading that on huh, game? Uh huh. -huh. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been completely hyperactive lately, so I take it out on your pen. Uh, that is a pen full of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. I um, I just really like the way that it writes. Yeah. Writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Ah, uh -huh. I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though. I don't know why I keep saving this. It's... The reason I keep saving, if I'm being honest, is because it feels like a comfort to me, even though saves don't matter in this game at all. Like, this, I, there's nothing in the save folder, by the way. If you actually get a chance to play this game, go look. The save folder is fucking empty, and I've saved this game a lot. So, but if it makes me feel like I still have some sense of control, like there's a, a net, a safety net for me, even it isn't, but it feels nice. Monica. Dakota Man, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Really? I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri, is it? Now? I don't know why, but she's pretty ex uh, excitable when she's around you. That's true. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Oh shit, so you just know. It's kind of messed up. She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that will probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me, Monica. To put it lightly, at least I have uh, together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. Girl, it is really hard to say no to you, Monica. Really hard. <laughs> but anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Okay, save me the colors. Oh, beautiful colors, frets, expand, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of me. Okay, so it's more or less the same stuff. They know it's violent greeting, sine, cosine, tangent. So it's the same poem, but very, it's differently written. Delete her? Last time it said, save me, load me. It said that the last time, I, and I did it. I did what she said, I saved, and then I loaded. I mean, nothing happened. I mean, I named the video, Save Me and Load Me. But delete her. Who else could she be talking about? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna delete Yuri. Right now. Right now. For, no, I'm gonna make a copy. Right, okay. I made a copy, just to back her up. Do you, yes. Mm -hmm. 
sorry, I know that was kind of abstract. <laughs> it was such a legitimate, like, I was like, ooh, sorry, I know it's kind of abstract, I'm just saying to, um, well, never mind, there's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Okay, the end isn't, the, I, she's gone, I, I deleted her. Right, let me see. No, you know what? I'm going to delete the copy, too. I'm getting all of it off my computer. Yep. Complete is complete. She's completely deleted now. Like, out of the recycle bin and everything. Right tip for the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Yes? Tell me you can hear me. I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. What happens if I type yes? Saves. Okay. It's, okay. So I saved the screenshot. But. Wait. How did I just save a screenshot? Please help me. Let me see. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that button did screenshots. Well, yes, S. I didn't know S did screenshots. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. I think I just agreed to help her. I've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Okay, I don't know what's going to happen now because Yuri's character thing is still gone. Okay, when I leave out the character thing and I come back, it's still gone. Um. Let me just see really quick if I completely close that folder and I reopen it. Is Yuri, Yuri's character like gone? Gone. Because I, I deleted her. Like she's... Characters. Yeah, yeah. Her character is still gone. Uh, got a special poem. Would you like to read it? Of course I have to read it. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how Blink feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though. So I don't don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left the memento of the occasion below. Who could have written this? That's not too much space, though, right here. It's not long enough. It's like maybe a four little word. So it might be, I mean, five little words. So it might be Yuri. Okay. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Uh, we have something new to go over today. So everyone can, can come to the next room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Do we really have to do something for the festival? Uh, it's not like we can. It's not like we can put everything together in a few days. Sorry, I'm like I'm tripping balls right now. Well, it's just embarrassing to put ourselves in anyone new members. Is that so? What are you still doing here? Your character is gone, baby girl. Uh, yeah, that's my concern as well. I don't really do anything with the last minute preparations. Don't don't worry so much. I guess it doesn't matter. Even though uh, her character is like gone, we're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since the Coda Man joined with Source of Club activities. Okay, so I just, so I'm guessing deleting her character now is pointless? Okay, those are my two screenshots, okay. Alright, uh, lively ever since the Coda Man joined, we've started the club activities. But this isn't time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to, you know, what's so great about getting new members anyway? Uh, we already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just make everything noisier and more difficult to manage. That's key. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can to inspire them to and the feelings in the first place? The Club should be a place to express themselves Okay, it's all about the same thing. 
It should be a place to intimate uh, when you need to leave. Let me also get rid of these. That do that really quick. Uh, it should be a place to intimate where you could want to leave if you know and feel the same way. I know we all do. So that's why we should work together and create something for the place of together. Right, the quarter man? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of the quarter man agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. That's true. He really doesn't. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here just going to clubs with people in mind? You ain't never talked about it until the quarter man joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And the quarter man isn't even passionate about the liter about literature in the first place. He's really not. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're prisoner and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. The music has stopped again, in case you didn't notice. Dot, dot, dot. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. You and the quarter man want to find new, uh, more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the way as I did? Is her character her character still gone? Dakota man, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Ass. That's not really something I could be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given the choice to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What I thought this club was a mistake. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with, uh, with the club being that for me? There aren't any... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take that away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, the quarter man. It's not the same. It won't be the same with uh, the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki knows Yuri and walks out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares? Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy here with you. Wait, I'm just happy with you here. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly looking over at the game folder. But still... I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. It's yeah, it's there. Go right now. Having I don't mind having different. Who cares about that mess? Yeah, it's it's there. They actually keep it in this time. That's awesome. That's a decision to rank the club. What about what about you, the Cody man? What do you, what do you want to get out of this club? Did I just see something? He repeats the same question as Monica. I've decided to give an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along, and for the club to provide uh, what you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That would make up the Lurch Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member. Oh, shit. I'm not even reading. I'm clicking her eye. She's bleeding a lot. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of my comfort zone every once in a while. 
So if you would like to help Mind Eclipse Festival, then I'm on your side. All right. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little bit awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Oh, Monica. I don't want... I, I want to do everything I can to make this uh, the best club ever. Okay. I mean, okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Dakota Man? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat with Dakota Man a little bit before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. You're in a little sort of trouble, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust you, Judgment Monica. Yeah, because yesterday, or a couple of days, when she protested, Monica was like, no, nah, and she just ended the day anyway. So I guess Yuri learned from that. It was like, okay, I'm not going to go against your judgment this time so I really don't want to fucking whatever you did to me. It's her character her character is still gone, so I don't know what that means. Does that mean the game is so far gone that I can't affect anything? I trust your judgment. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves your ex to the room. Ooh. Things might have been a, been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? The quarter man, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying the club this time. Yeah. I uh, would really hate to see you unhappy. Why is think why things getting darker and staticky? I feel like kind of the responsibility as president, and really do care about you. You know, I don't like seeing other girls give you a hard time. The music stopped. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and you're being a little bit, you know, ah, ha ha ha. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time with each other. Uh, I mean, I guess technically it's been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something so weird. Okay, so they are talking about the time differences. It's a couple of days, and it's only yesterday, and something like that. And then I've been here so long, but really it's only been a couple of days. So I think the game is counting my actual real time, maybe. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something so weird. There are just some things that I've been hoping to talk uh, with you about. About with you. Things I only know you can understand. So that's why... I... Wait, not yet. No. What? Did it just straight up? So the game ended anyway? Even with her... So she doesn't control it. Or maybe she did that one time. Hey, editing code is zoom in on that. What the fuck? It's so like little and minute. Oh, this game, this, this game, the detail in this game is crazy. Let's say. Let's say brand new page two. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna we're gonna keep on the Sayori path because I really so a part of me, you know, is stupid, believes that Sayori is still in the game and that she wants to come through. Unless Monica is really fucked up and she's the one who put the Sayori uh, hanging poster in the background. Can't skip. I mean, I can't click anything. Okay. Uh, what's something? Hope. Um, eternity. Sadness. Hmm. Hopeless. Lucky. No, no. How they covet. Unending. I saw that. Universe. Uh, together. A 
alone. Friends. And it's just going up. Okay. Explode shot of sparkle summer inside. Anger. Unstable judgment, passion, excitement, rage, anxiety. Judgment. Um, scar, not making scars. Uh, hurts. Rainbows. Hmm. So orientated essence. Cheer. Embrace. That's Monica. My first thought was like, oh shit, Sayori. But Sayori has a red bow. Monica has a white bow. That's Monica down there. But what what is she trying to break through on? And how long is this gonna go on? I don't even know where I am in the thing. Uh tragedy. Secret of depression never was in. Feather, meager, depression, crimson hair, chocolate, sunny, peaceful. Okay. Hi, the coded man. I'm sorry, baby, but I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I have to see. I have to see what what words trigger Monica. Because I'm still, I was still going down Sayori's path with emotions. Because Sayori had those, she had actual emotional words that were bittersweet in a way. But since it seems to be mixed between those two, what words are for uh, uh, Monica? I have to see this. So if this gameplay is going to be a little longer, whatever. Uh, breathe? No. Alone? No. Race. Infinite. Fear. 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 Fester, summer puppy, infallible. Rolling after much bigger. Infallible? What is that? What? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna say it again. I have to click it. I have to. It's only Yuri there. Okay. Together. Uh, Opus. Defeated. Never anger. Is that fantasy? Fantasy. Uh, this is this is weird. Memories. I don't even know who these words are going to anymore. Um, awesome. Uh, special. Question. Sweet. God, disoriented, crimson, agonizing. Agonizing? Um, forgive? Explode. Okay, what happens if I go back from here? If I don't, the word is moved firstly. When I, the word was over here, so that's weird, but okay. Wait, and it stunned me back at one. What? What happens if I click it again? You heard that? Ah. 
is your is character still gone? Nothing has popped back up. Nothing at all has popped up in the thing. I gotta go back again. I have to. So also, okay, so it starts at one no matter what, right? But for some reason, and now it's not there. So this is so the game is very random in how it wants to fuck with you. Okay, existence together. Uh, what words? Well, for for fucking Monica again, I just that just completely threw me off. This game is crazy. Tenacious. Suicide. No. Broken. Eternity. Vivacious. Uh, Vivacious. There you go. Okay. Uh, pure. Memories. Pleasure. Pleasure. Embrace. Question five five five. Fear. No. Explode. Capable. Promise. Defeat. Vivid. Hopeless. Defeat. Defeat. Flying. Turn. Fire. Child. Imagination. Stay. Imagination. Okay. Rats. Quester. Fantasy. Fantasy. No. This is how they have a portrait from Traps Keep Papa. No one has a heart. A heartbeat. No, that's good. Essence is that sensation? Sensation. Sensation. Jump. Unknown. Secret. Family. Special. Cage. That's secret. No. Also, cheese. Depression. Waffle. I'm sure we'll extraordinary mouse. Death. Okay. I think I'm just going to continue on now, but it's it seems like her words were like intensely emotional, like maybe sexually emotional. But OK, uh, let's let's continue on the day because that 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 whole part is really. Hi, Dakota, man. I've been waiting for you. Are you are you ready to continue reading about my best team today? Monica, I told you not to. Uh, is she late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. But, uh, you must always interrupt my conversations uh, with your incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You say, you say it like I do it uh, on a regular basis or something. I was just, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'm sorry. Seriously, what's been into you lately? What's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. On edge lately. So your character's still gone. Your character's still gone. So I don't know what that means. But okay. Oh, well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Well, well, the quarter man just walked in. You're pretty. You, you were practicing piano again? Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. You must have a lot of determination starting this club and still making time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, and the coded man, me. That, that, that. Right. I forgot. Um, about that Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and we decided that we would be supportive of this festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting to uh, change club either. I think you kind of feel that way. So as long as we're working together as clubs never becomes something we don't want. That, that, that. Um, also, if you help out with the next festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. It was a little more, I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something, but I know this is something we're in together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool, and I guess another girl would, would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know, so I'm gonna help, I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure we get this done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? 
Monica. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, the Coder Man. What do you what do you do today? What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That that's correct. The Coder Man is already engaged in a novel. Sorry, is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already got him into literature, Monica? I I suppose. I was just. Actually, it doesn't matter because you could probably said all this if you wanted to. Uh, it really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! That's that crazy eyes again. Oh, you know what they say about the crazy ones? Mmm. Thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. You know what? Uh, this, this would be a good time right here. I know, I know I've been playing like pretty hard, especially I just got caught up in the whole poems and everything. Oh my god, I have to be close to the end though. I can, I can feel it. I can feel I'm getting close to the end. But I don't have time, that much time to record, so uh, that'll be that. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to see what else we're doing, let me know what you think, because I'm always interested to know. So, yeah. <laughs> 